guys welcome to today's video um as you can see by the title um i'm doing like a two uh two videos that kind of go together um they're kind of just packing things for college um so they are quite chilled out so today i'm going to be taking you through what is in my pencil case so in the video before you've probably already seen if you haven't go check it out it'll be in the description below um i have done um, I've packed my college bag for you guys so you can see exactly what goes into it, what you need, the necessities, what you don't really need, etc, etc. And today I'm going to be taking you through what I think is essential for a pencil case in your first year. Obviously I've also packed mine for a second year, but it's pretty similar. Um, okay, so let's go through it. I'm just going to empty it because I think that'll be much easier. So my pencil case, as you've already seen, is just a navy blue plain easy pencil case i'm not one for sparkles and all that lot i just like a plain simple cheap easy pencil case because it will get absolutely battered <laughs> but if you like the big ones i had it for first year it's great um so yeah that's my little one so first i like to at the bottom put i do it like layers of what i'll need the most and what i won't need um what i will not need the most is pencils now I have two different types, so four pencils. I have two yellow ones, um, with <laughs> they're so used they don't have rubbers on the ends, and just two pen uh, paper chase ones, which are just pretty because I like to have pretty things in my pencil case every so often. Um, they're from last year, but they still work great. Pencils are pencil, so they are going to be put in the bottom because I don't really tend to use pencils unless we're getting given a just a little task of drawing or. You want to write something in pencil before you put it in pen so you know it's right um i next like to put in a um just a whiteboard marker because sometimes you can't always trust the um whiteboard pens in your college <laughs> so most of the time they run out so i like to bring my own just in case obviously that's optional it's not necessary it's purely up to you and your choice um i also have this rubber ball um it's just an easy rubber that can go in your pencil case, doesn't take up much room and it just separates and it's really just good to use. So ugh, this one was from Paper Chase a few years ago, so that just goes in there. Next I have Tipex. Um, I am reusing a lot of my stuff from my first year because due to Covid we obviously only had like half a year so a lot of my stuff didn't get used to its full content so i'm using a lot of stuff in my first year so a lot of stuff is like half used so this is tipex i prefer the pens to the tape or the actual um pot just purely because it's more accurate so with actual writing it doesn't take up like just looks more realistic i think so i like that one um next is a prit stick they're really handy you get given loads of worksheets so I tend to put stuff in poly pockets, but if you're for someone, if you've got like a tiny bit of work that you just want to stick on a piece of paper, this is really handy for it. Doing worksheets that includes other bits that need to be stuck on, etc, etc. This is really handy. So I would highly recommend a Pritt stick or any other glue stick. Um, next goes in my Crayolas. Obviously you can use something else. Um, I will see if I can try and find the link for them as well so they can be down below. I just picked out, because I have a pack of like 24, I just picked out some really good colours I think I will be used the most. Um, and I just like the yellows, the greens, greys and then the pinks and purples. So I just have that collection. I have eight and I will colour code them to certain things within my coursework and that will make more sense for me in my mind. Um, so they just go in there as well. Um, and then I have three pastels, um, the Bulo Boss um, highlighters in um, like a turquoisey blue, a purple and a pink. Um, my green I had unfortunately run out. I will put the description down below for them as well because these have literally taken me through GCSEs, first year of um, college and now they're going to take me through second year of college. So they are a absolute lifesaver when it comes to needing highlighters and they're never too dark. You can layer upon layer and they will never be too dark. So honestly, these are so handy to have. So they just go in there as well. So I like to have that in there. Also, 
I like to just put a scrunchie in there as well, just in the corner, so that if needs be, I need a scrunchie straight on hand. I don't want to dig through my bag. Say we're doing some quiet work and I don't want to be really loud, which obviously is not really that loud, but for me, I like to respect others and let them have their quiet time. So I like to just put a scrunchie in the corner. It doesn't get in the way, but it's there if I need it. Um, next I have 10. I know it's a lot, but I like to have loads because they run out so fast. Um, I like to have 10 um, black pens. Oh, I dropped one. 10 just normal black pens. And for me, um, I don't know whether anyone else has this, but I have to have that like soft bit there because on this finger, I get a bump come up from when I write so much. And it tends to hurt if I'm doing like exam work. So I like to have a softer bit on the pen. Comment down below if anyone else has that or whether that's just me and my weirdness. Um, but I got them from Asda pen and gear ballpoint pens five pack they were i think 50p a pack so really just cheap and easy um they're just a quick and then release on the side ones so they're really handy um so i like to just put them in there as well and also you'll find a lot of your friends are like i forgot my pencil case and i hand these out so fast um so they like to disappear very quickly <laughs> so yeah that is everything in my pencil case um obviously it doesn't feel like much but everything in here is so crucial um obviously unlike GCSEs you don't have things like a protractor if you're doing like maths and that then you will um but for me personally doing level three health and social care I do not need protractor rulers on the occasion but not really I don't really tend to underline anything anymore they would probably be handy but I find they come across really not often that it's not worth me having one um if you feel like someone who wants to underline all their titles their dates you know when they initial anything then get one because it will be worth it for you but i really don't <laughs> it's not my thing so yeah these are so crucial i know this was only a short video um i also just thought i forgot to take you through what pencil case this was so this was a ten uh tesco pencil case um, it was £2.25, so absolute bargain. It feels really good material as well, and it's got a little handle, which won't be that handy for me, but if I'm walking anywhere, then it will be. Um, but yeah, £2.25 for really nice size pencil case, because I find you have to spend like between 7 and like 11 quid for a pencil case that's about that much taller, and it has a pattern on it, and I just won't use that much space. Um, where this is just nearly full, it's got extra room, not much, and it is just perfect. And it was two quid twenty five, and I just don't feel the need for loads of decoration. That is everything that um, goes in my pencil case. I know this video was only short, but <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I know it's only short, but um, obviously I can't find anything else but my pencil case. That is literally everything you need. Um, if you are doing a course that's unlike mine where you need more equipment, then obviously adapt to that and get that equipment. But I don't personally need that. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a good day. Stay safe. And if you haven't already, go check out my other video, which takes you through everything I pack in my college bag. So go check that out because there's a lot to it. Um, have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Stay happy. Bye.